welcome to my vegan kitchen. I'm Michelle. Today, I wanna to show you a healthier option for bacon and eggs. I'm gonna show you how to make mushroom bacon and tofu scramble. Come with me, I'm gonna do it now. All right guys, so as you heard in the intro, we're gonna be making bacon from mushroom. So, in this container, in my airtight container that I keep in the refrigerator, I have some trumpet mushrooms. They're called different names, so you can call them trumpet mushrooms or they're king oyster mushrooms. You'll see different names, but this is what it looks like. I like the texture of using the trumpet mushrooms because it does mimic bacon to a T. This is how I keep my mushrooms. I always get that question. How do you store the mushrooms? How do you clean the mushrooms? These are really easy to clean. Run them under water and just wipe them dry with paper towel. I use an airtight container, line it with some paper towel, and just keep my uh, mushrooms in the refrigerator. These can last for two weeks. I've had them for up to 14 days and they're fine in the refrigerator. They last pretty long. Grab yourself a sharp knife, guys, really sharp knife, because we're going to cut these to mimic the look of bacon. Well, first, what we're going to do is cut off the, the, the ends. The ends are a little bit more tough, so I cut the bottoms off and you could usually feel it. Once you feel like the ends where it starts to get tough, that's where you cut it off and the softer part you just leave right there. I could just toss that. All right. With the mushrooms, I'm going to make thin slices. So I'm going to get really close in there and cut really thin slices. All right. Just like mushroom, um, just like your bacon would be, right? All right. So we're just going to cut really thin slices. And depending on how many strips of bacon mushroom you want or mushroom bacon you want is how much you're going to cut. All right, now that we have our mushrooms sliced and we slice them thin, and I use two mushrooms, guys, but like I said, use as many as you feel you need to you know, satisfy your meal. This re recipe is super, super, super easy. You know how I keep it, guys, really easy. Once your mushrooms are cut, place them in a bowl. So I'm just gonna pack them up right in a bowl. They don't have to be in any fancy way. And we're gonna season them with liquid aminos. Liquid aminos is nice and salty, just like you remember bacon is supposed to be, right? So just cover them. And again, there's no precise measurement. Once your um, mushroom pieces get all covered, you know your Mushrooms will absorb the liquid aminos very easily. Once that is in, we're gonna add a little bit of liquid smoke. Liquid smoke is what's gonna give it that smoky, bacon flavor. Of course, I spilled half of it on the cutting board, but you only need a small amount of the liquid smoke, maybe about a, a teaspoon or so. Okay, get everything mixed up. And yes, I use my hands again because it's my kitchen. All right, so I get it all mixed together and we're gonna just let that sit and marinate for about one to two minutes. It doesn't have to be long. While this is gonna sit on the side marinated, I'm gonna get the oven heated on 400 degrees. All right, so while the oven heats up, I'm gonna use my cast iron skillet to place my mushrooms and cook them in the oven, okay? If you don't have a cast iron skillet, you can use like a cookie sheet, just line it with parchment paper, and then put the mushrooms right on the cookie sheet open. You don't cover it or anything, but if you're gonna cook, guys, you've gotta have one of these cast iron um, skillets in your kitchen. They're perfect for stovetop, and then you can use them directly in the oven. They're great for bacon also, so you wanna have one of these. And there's no uh, funky chemicals, there's no toxic chemicals in this type of cookware. All right, so now that our mushroom have um, marinated for a couple of minutes, I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil to the pan. Okay, you can use an oil brush if you'd like. I'm gonna use my hands and I'm just gonna swirl that around in the pan. Because you know what? Bacon is oily and you want it to have that crispness to it. I still have the oil on my fingers. I'm gonna lay out my mushrooms flat and it's okay if they touch because they're gonna shrink up just like bacon would. So if they're touched, that's fine, but I try to get them as you know separated as possible. And that's what it looks like. 
Now, so now we're gonna place them in the oven for about 15 minutes. But kind of keep your eye on them because you don't want it to really like, really overcook and get too crispy. But let me place these in the oven. All right, so while the bacon, <laughs> I love teasing people that just, just be hating on us vegans. Let us call it what we want to call it. While the mushroom bacon is in the oven, I'm going to make the tofu scramble. Now, I like peppers in my tofu scramble. Even when I did eat eggs, I did like to have peppers and onions in my, my egg scramble. So I'm gonna do the same with the tofu. So let me get that all finely chopped and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do with the tofu next. <music> Caraway is non-stick, so I don't have to add any butter. Now, for you guys, if you're not using a non-stick pad, go ahead and add butter or a little bit of grapeseed oil, just a little bit, to your pan and get it heated up. So while the skillet heats up, we're gonna get the tofu ready. Yes, we're using firm tofu, guys. And I do like the Trader Joe's brand. I've used other brands and they're good too, but the Trader Joe's brand is just it's really simple. It's nice and firm, so I do like to use this one. So you can use firm tofu or extra firm tofu. You wanna make sure it's on the firm side because when we mash this, you don't want it to be soggy. You still want it to have that like bounciness that eggs would normally have. The good thing about this, we don't have to press the tofu. That's what's nice about it. So let's bust this thing open and get the water out and get our tofu prepared. Once I get the water out of my tofu, this is how I do it. I place it in a dishcloth because we have to get this tofu crumbled up. Some people will put it in the pan and then use a potato masher or use a fork to do that. I'm not gonna do that. Plus, I don't wanna scratch my very new caraway skillet, my nonstick skillet surface. So we're just gonna put them in a dishcloth, get it right over the sink, squeeze out any more excess water that's in there. So that's why I said we didn't have to press the tofu because we're kind of getting rid of the water that's in here. But when you do that, you're kind of breaking the tofu up here anyway. And then I'm just gonna place it right in the pot. All right, and see, it's all broken up. I didn't have to mash it in my pot and scratch my new cookware. All right, let's head over to the skillet. And the skillet's nice and hot now. I'm just gonna drop my tofu right in the pan. Come on, tofu. I don't wanna spill it, so there we go. Got it all in the pan. Come on in, cameraman, let them see. And just kind of separate it and move it around. I'm going to also add my peppers and onions because I want this all to cook together. I don't have to cook the peppers and onions before. I could cook them all together right in the pan. Once it starts to heat up, I'm going to show you how I turn it into scrambled eggs. All right, come on in. Let me show you. So guys, keep in mind, tofu is already cooked. You know, I hear a lot of people saying, oh, you're eating raw tofu. Tofu is already cooked. Now, it doesn't have any taste, so it's kind of like nasty when you eat it just like that because there's no flavor to it. But tofu is already cooked, so you don't have to do much to it. Once my um, peppers and onions are cooked, this is pretty much done. Now, in order to give it that eggy look, we're going to add a little turmeric to the, the mix to kind of give it that yellow eggy taste, eggy look. If you don't care for it to be yellow, you don't have to add it. Turmeric has a mild flavor, so it might give it like a little bit different of a flavor, but it will definitely give it that yellow look that you would normally get from scrambled egg. Now, if you want the smell and the taste and everything to really feel like eggs, add black salt. This is, I get this right on Amazon. It's on my Amazon storefront. If you guys need to purchase it, I'll leave the link below. This one is actually my favorite. Just add a little bit of that black salt. What's crazy is that when I make this, the whole house smells like I'm not vegan. Like if you walked in, you'd be like, Michelle is lying. You know she be eating that bacon and them eggs behind our back because the house smells like eggs and it smells like bacon for real. So, you know, you know we eat with our eyes and our nose before we actually taste it. If you wanna convince somebody this is it right here. And look at that. 
We got ourselves some scrambled eggs, just like that. All now, for those of you who like scrambled egg and cheese, guess what? You can add the cheese right to the tofu. I'm just adding some Parmesan cheese. Mix it around and the cheese will melt in and it'll taste just like scrambled eggs with cheese. So I added Parmesan cheese, but guys, you can add cheddar cheese. You can add whatever cheese you want. It's just gonna taste like scrambled egg with cheese. All right, so it's time to plate. I got my plate ready. I got some sourdough bread. And guys, you know, you can't eat bread. Just make sure that the bread enriches your body so it nourishes your body. Sourdough bread is uh, has bacteria that's good for your gut. So the bacteria in the sourdough is really good for your gut. So if you're gonna choose to eat bread, sourdough is the way to go. Right, let's grab our scrambled tofu. So our, our tofu scrambled, that's what it looks like. Let's lay it on the plate. And remember, I added cheese to mine. That looks just like eggs, guys. Just like eggs. Mushrooms. That's our bacon. Everything on the plate. When I tell you, even the most skeptic people, they're going to turn their nose up. They're going to be like, ah, tofu, it's not going to taste. It does. It tastes like it. It smells like it. Obviously, we know it's not it. But if you have been wanting that nostalgic scrambled egg and bacon and you just thought you couldn't have it anymore because you went plant-based, think again. It's here and this tastes exactly like it. Let me dig in. Eggs, right? Delicious. This has always been a favorite for me, guys. So, I mean, I know what it tastes like. I eat this constantly. The bacon. What's nice, what's interesting with this? You see, it's just like bacon. It has the same texture. You can make it crispier if you want, just leave it in the oven longer, but it tastes just like bacon. It even smells like bacon. It's crazy. Mm. Delicious, delicious. Like I said, I paired it with sourdough bread. This tastes just like bacon. This is crazy. The things we can do with mushrooms. I mean, so some substitute because if tofu is not your thing, the next thing you could do is use chickpea flour. Um, you, the recipe down below for you guys, just to give you another option if you didn't want to do the tofu. But again, even the chickpea scramble, we using chickpea flour, tastes just like it. Isn't this wonderful guy? A healthy option. If you notice, I didn't even add any butter to the tofu scramble, maybe a little bit of oil to the mushrooms, but it's mushrooms. It was three ingredients, a little oil, some um, liquid aminos and liquid smoke, and that was it. That's it. This is so healthy. Usually on Sundays, I start my fast at six o'clock and I usually try to go, you know, kind of more on the clean side with my meals, but it's Sunday. So, you know, you want to have that Sunday fun day type of meal. This is it super healthy, enjoy. Again, guys, thank you for joining me in Buy Vegan Kitchen. There's another simple recipe. It wasn't complicated. You guys, you could do it. You can do it. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the link on the bottom or click the subscribe button on the bottom, I meant to say, and tap on the bell so you can get reminders whenever I post new videos or if I just leave a post. Sometimes I just got something to say. Enjoy your weekend, guys. Bye.